Three, two, one. We're very excited to open these doors um, today and have everybody here be able to take a look at what creative and innovation comes together. The design type of design is customized to suit the needs of residents living in the building and provide them with a sense of se safety and security. By incorporating these features that help them connect with their new community, we aim to provide truly permanent housing. These are just the latest projects and what all the amazing things that have been going on here in the city. You know, we opened Uquina Hall, Mahoney a Crossing, Orchard Park, the YMCA Veterans Housing, and like I mentioned, Rivenwood. Housing is our most critical issue. Uh, it is one of the issues that people go to sleep stressed out about every night. It's one of the stressors that people wake up with every single morning. It's such a reminder of reaffirming um, humanity. Reaffirming humanity, reaffirming dignity for the people that we serve. And only through partnerships, partnerships and projects like these, are we gonna dig ourselves out of this housing crisis. When we talk about the continuum of care, this is what we're talking about. Places like, like Sequoia Crossings make all of those other services work because it's what people are working toward once they're getting off of the street, out of a tent, either into a micro shelter, into our navigation center, ready, ready for the next step. And Sequoia Crossings is that next, next step. These leaders have made this a priority and their efforts are showing results. While well, the state as a whole saw a 12% increase from 2022, the Salem, Marion, and Polk County Continuum of Care actually had a 7% decrease in homelessness between 2022 and 2023. And I am delighted and honored and just blown over by the fact that we're going to open this new property here today and folks are going to start moving in next week. It is just one of the most significant housing and homeless accomplishments in this community in a generation. And it is still something I believe is only a starting point for our community. This place is going to save lives. It really is going to save lives. And I couldn't be prouder of that.